Tonight on Up Close, one of the more unusual and durable careers in pop music, the partnership known as They Might Be Giants. They've been sustained by one of the more loyal audiences around, consistent critical acclaim, and just this year by their first Grammy. Oh, and as you'll see, a telephone answering machine played a big part. We first got to know them and their work a few years back when my colleague Robert Krulwich asked them to write original songs for Nightline series Brave New World. Now a new documentary by A.J. Schnock, gigantic, a tale of two Johns, tells the story of their do-it-yourself success. And we asked him to adapt his film for us tonight. Robert and A.J. pick it up from here, or actually from the Giants' home base, Brooklyn. Well, we're going to let you in on a little secret here, which is, after all, the function of a news program, to tell you things you didn't know. And this program is about a band. The secret is actually widely shared, but kind of privately, by hundreds of thousands of people who've fallen in love with a musical band called They Might Be Giants. I'm one of them, and A.J. Schnock has made a film about them. Yeah, and I was uh, intrigued both by all those people who loved them, and as well as the fact that they have been friends since grade school. Right. They met in a small town in uh, Massachusetts and went on to have this 20-year musical partnership that's still very vibrant and thriving, and they have this almost chemical connection, the way they work together. It's a, it's a chemistry, actually. It's not just between the two of them, but it right. seems to flow out to the audience because they write lyrics. They write songs about subjects that no one else writes songs about. They're very smart. And then... Uh, they're very funny, uh, too. They're funny. 